Good day to all of my students, my subscribers, and all of my viewers. So for today, we will be studying VBA number 2, or creating a message box. Now this uh, series is a visual basic tutorial for beginners. Now so, um, I have carefully selected some of the tools or what do you call this, um, options that I will be teaching you. Uh, because of time constraints and um, the distance, I have selected some of the tools that we will be uh, doing over the course of this series. So for today, uh, we will be doing a... Let's go to the developer tab. A button. No. So, yeah. Okay. So... When you go to the developer tab and then under insert, you will have a series of form controls that you can choose. Now, you have the button, the regular one, and then there's a combo box, there's a check box, there's a spin button. There are actually too many and even in the latest versions, there are newer form controls that you can use. But for the but for the purpose of this um, lesson, we will just be choosing button three, just like what I did with the first um, with the first uh, uh, tutorial that I I did. So dito we have a button, and then uh, just like any other button, you can uh, resize this, relocate this on a specific area of the sheet where you would like to put it. And again, just like any other buttons you are free to um, format this. No? You can choose what type of font you will be uh, doing. Pwede maliit. It can be large. Uh, for example, I will choose Arial Black. And then I can choose a specific font size. Let's say that's 20. No? I can uh, edit what's inside this, the text command inside this. Sorry, uh, this one. So I'll just hover my mouse here and then when I see this uh, icon, it means I am ready to edit the, the contents of the button. So let's say, pwede ko siyang gawing, the word is press me. Okay. Uh, apart from that, I can also play with uh, different elements of the button. Pwede natin siyang palitan yung kulay, the order of the text, the orientation, the size here other properties okay i can also choose the color of the font i can uh put a strike through superscript subscript so on and so forth but for now we will just um uh stay with this kind of button uh, just a regular one so last time i have taught you how to um put out visual basic no. We can press this button or we can press Alt F11. Now, the thing with doing uh, controls, elements, no. but there's a third way of how you would um, put out the Visual Basic worksheet or module. So here, dahil nag-create ako ng button, I can just simply right-click here. Sorry right click and then i would select assign macro no. so on my next uh, video i will explain what macro is because this is an entirely large topic no? this is a different topic uh, but for the purpose of this um lecture i'm just showing you a specific way on how you could put out the visual basic monitor so i would uh, select assign macro and then upon button 3 click I would select new right. now there's kaya naging button 3 siya kasi uh, I have made a button earlier no? but I have deleted it but just disregard that and then I will click new and then here ito kasi yung uh, message box na ginawa ko kanina so now we're here. Sorry, ulitin natin ano. Here, assign macro. Button, 
button three click and it there so as you all know any uh code starts with the word sub just like um what we did last time and also i can pre pre uh, differentiate what i would be putting here now bakit pinili ko yung right click yung button and then versus choosing visual basic right it's because here if you would choose general now there are other options like this one general declarations and then uh, usually kapag ka hindi yun yung option na pernas mo there would be another drop down for this one kaya it would be safer if we would just assign macro from that form control so here Button 3 click, the code for entering a message is message box or msg box. Okay, tandaan niya na. As soon as I hit space, it tells me uh, what to enter next. Right, prompt button as uh, visual basic message box style, etc. etc. But for the purpose of simplicity, you'll um, goal natin here is just to enter a specific message whenever I click the message box. So open parenthesis, open quote, and then let's say I would type, uh, I would say, Good morning. Good morning. Let's say that's the message that I would want to show up when I click the button. Close code. Close parenthesis. Okay. Alright. So that, that would be our routine for this uh, button. So let me go back to the button. And then let's see if it would work. Yeah. Good morning. Okay. So, ulitin natin, ano? Let's try to put in another button. That would be button 4. Click. And then, let's put in a new macro. So, it, if you would see, automatically, there's a new sub. And then, it says, this is for button number 4. Because the one that we have was for button number 3. So, I would type in message box again. Now, let's say what I would like to put here is goodbye. Close code, close parenthesis, enter. So, as soon as I click this, goodbye. So, this one is good morning. And then, this one is goodbye okay so again and this is a very simple um this is a very simple uh discussion no? now uh hindi ko pinagsabay-sabay lahat yan on a specific um uh, lesson because it would uh take some uh, it would take so much time and then the further uh form controls are a little bit um medyo mas mahirap na siya. No? It's not as simple as creating a button and putting a routine on it. Now, on our next lesson, we would integrate this button on a macro. Okay? Or a specific um, instruction, database instruction set, wherein a button would execute everything. No? So, I hope uh, you have understood this very simple lesson and what I would like you to do is uh, create your own message box, personalize it, put messages on it. And then that will be all. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. God bless.